Hey guys, it's a quick review of Spice Gen Farmer for Galaxy S6. I just got this for my phone, which I got yesterday. S6 released on Friday. That was yesterday, and I got this really cool case. The Spice Gen, uh, it's basically two pieces of case. One is polycarbonate, and other is TPU rubber. I really hope that this gives the required safety to my phone. So it's basically two pieces, as you can see. To the left side is the rubber case. Uh, it's pretty flexible. It's TPU. I'm sure you must have seen this in other phone cases. It's flexible and it's got all the cuts as required. Like here's for the camera. Then down there we have one for the USB. Then this one's for the speaker and this for the 3.5mm jack. Towards the left we have this one is for the power button. Sorry for the bad video. Uh, I was expecting to be clear, but now this is the volume rocker, the plus and minus sign, as you can understand. And this hole is, I believe, for the IR blaster. So all the cutout, uh, I've used this already. All the cutouts are perfect as far as the phone is concerned. So that's what I liked, other than having air cushion at the corners, which really keeps the edges of the phone safe. And uh, I was told that this is wireless compatible, wireless charging compatible. So that's also cool. It and you can just fit on the polycarbonate back case on it. Just fits perfectly. So these two pieces really keep the phone safe. Uh, let's look at the phone. Uh, Galaxy S6 is a pretty cool phone, real thin with the audio jack being moved uh, at the bottom along with the speaker. Here's the volume rocker button with the volume buttons, and here's the power button. And like I said, here's a speaker, the USB port, and the 3.5mm jack. So uh, the phone is really cool. It's got cool uh, fingerprint detection unlocking feature, which is pretty responsive. No more swiping required. Uh, one of the advantages of this phone is uh, how sleek it looks, unlike the old Samsung Galaxy phones. I had an S5 before, which looked like a generic Samsung phone. But this one's much, much cooler. Pretty thin. Now let's get back to the case. Uh, the difference, uh, as you can understand, the stuff armor case are really thick. And what worried me was the thickness was a bit too much for the wireless charging to actually work. So let's put the phone in the case and see how it looks. So first I put the TPU case. Uh, that's how it is. It's two-part process. Then you can actually push on the hard casing. So this is the polycarbonate shell that I'm putting on. It, it also has a kickstand, which I'll tell you more about soon. So everything is getting fit properly. So, uh, yep. So this is basically what the phone looks like. One looks like once you have the cover on. It's 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 not that bulky, but compared to the phone, how it actually looks, it's pretty bulky and pretty much covers the whole phone. So if you put on this cover, you won't be able to differentiate between a Samsung Galaxy S5 or an S6. So that's one downside if you want to keep the phone safe. All the cutouts are perfect. Uh, USB, that was a speaker, the power button looks perfectly cool. At the, and you have the these are volume buttons which are perfectly placed and I've tried this it's fine and these are for the IR blaster and as for the phone with the stuff armor it looks bulkier although it's much more stronger this is what the phone looks like with the casing on now let's take a quick look at the the kickstand that it has so the kickstand it has is plastic it just pops out like this and it's not flexible vertically but yes you uh, so once you have it all set you can place it at two levels one is this which is and the other one is a lower viewing level so these are the two options you have since it's not adjustable it's not flexible it's a fixed kickstand it would have been cool if the kickstand would have been polycarbonate this is plastic i'm not sure how durable is it going to be but I'm sure I won't be using this feature much. It's not like I place my phone on table and watch videos. 
So next I'd like to show you that the wireless charging works perfectly with this case on the phone. Wireless charging is one of the coolest thing in this phone and as you can see as soon as I placed it on the case cor uh, correctly the blue light on the charger came up which basically means that the phone has started charging. This is what I was worried of. Well, I'm relieved. So off uh, like finally if I look at the case although it's add, it adds a bit of a bulk to the phone but it really keeps it safe and that's what I wanted and the one thing I was scared of about the wireless charging luckily that's not an issue overall I'm really satisfied with this case the pros being it keeps the phone safe and the wireless charging is not being hindered because of the thickness of the case and the bad thing is it's kinda bulkier so that's my review of the Spigen Tough Armor case. Hope you like it. Drop in a comment and tell me what kind of a case you have. Hope you like the video. Geek Stratomus signing off. Go Geek!